wish everyone could see this beautiful yeah. moment. Oh, it's crazy here. There's a lot of people and a lot of action and stuff. And it's, it's really exciting, a really interesting and like energizing environment to be working in. I really like it. You're not just a vendor, you're an artist here. EWI is very, very helpful food for immigrant person. Romanian immigrant and activist for women's human rights, Marga Fripp, founded Empowered Women International in May 2002 to give voice to immigrant and global people of America. The organization based in Alexandria, Virginia, opened its door to the world in August 2003. Marga immigrated to the United States on September 2001, just a few days after September the 11th. She, as many other immigrant women, although highly qualified, felt disconnected and unable to find her professional niche in the United States. She had to reinvent herself and through this process to help other women find their inner voice. She learned that immigrant women in general and educated or skilled women in particular seem to have a more difficult time to acculturate due to a series of barriers including language, economic status, financial dependency, cultural and family values, but most predominantly due to a lack of a network of support in work opportunities in women's fields of education or expertise. Based on these initial findings, EWI designed its services to support talented and skilled newcomers who usually fall through the cracks of our system. EWI grew naturally one step every day. The whole program was built around women's strengths, needs and their artistic and cultural heritage. Art was just a vehicle of empowerment. Women's voices were powerful but stuck to their inner cores. EWI had to find a way to bring that out in the community and make it vocal. The organization started by showing art that revealed immigrant women's need for cultural identity, their ability for portraying gender issues, peace and war scenes, struggles and opportunities. The ultimate goal was to show art that empowers and heals, art that tells a story and goes beyond its aesthetic function. So we do believe that arts can give women a chance not just to heal from old wounds, not just to communicate with women from other cultures, and yet to survive in the American diversity culture, but also to be able to make an income, to be able to have something that is their own, to be able to stay on their own feet and feel that they are self-sufficient. And with the money that they can produce from whatever they create, they can support their family, they can have their kids in the school, and also go back themselves to school. I think art is one of the mediums that erases the language barrier. I like the idea that it's, it's respecting cultures and it's not just trying to work towards assimilation. It's a way to just help people um, come and become citizens of America but still respect their own country and kind of working towards people in America respecting other countries too. So. Empowered Women International provides immigrant and refugee women artists and artisans with the tools they need to become successful entrepreneurs. Launched as a pilot program in spring 2005, EWI's entrepreneurial program trained already a total of 25 artists. The training is offered twice a year during the spring and fall semester and teaches participants basic concepts of art business management including marketing and PR strategies, financial literacy and legal issues related to art-based careers. Immigrant women also benefit of one-on-one -on -one coaching services for personal and business development. I need to learn more, I want to learn more, I want to move ahead and it's only possible with <clears throat> EWI's guidance and their men our program especially. I would be there, yes. Because she introduced us with another foreigner people and with an America also. That's good for us. That's good opportunity. You know, what, I, what I think is, uh, is really unique about what you do is the fact that you do take a skill, uh, something that people are already accustomed to doing, like the arts. And, and you build on that. You give them an opportunity to display what they do within your own studio. EWI regularly exhibits the art of emerging and established immigrant artists and artisans from around the world. Most of the organization's artists live in northern Virginia in the DC metropolitan area. EWI's strengths derive from its diversity and the amazing skills and vibrant cultural heritages of the immigrant and refugee women beneficiaries. Although EWI's programs target mostly immigrant women, often EWI works with a whole family. 
because uh, when I when I was in my back home, I exhibit in one gallery. It look like uh, EWI. When I come here, I got her also. It's this for me. It's look for me. It's look like feeling. It's look like back home because that's good for me. I would like to say EWI. It's gonna be help us a lot. At the first things, the she try to push us to sell our artwork. That's the first thing. She try to push us to doing a new painting every day. She encourage us and she always to call us and uh, what you're doing, you're doing a painting. You know, that kind of things is very interesting, very you know, unbelievable. I would say that since we have been a nation that's been built on immigration, and has been built on what is commonly known as a melting pot, I think that some of that sentiment might have gotten lost or muddled in the aftermath of 9-11. And volunteering here has helped me feel like I'm doing my part to still welcome new citizens to this country and to still show them that Americans are caring. Over the past three years, EWI has worked with 600 immigrant and refugee women and has organized 12 artist series events. Over 1,500 people have enjoyed the individual and group exhibitions, discussions, and performances featuring immigrant and refugee artists from 17 countries, ranging from China to Ethiopia. In 2004 alone, over 450 people visited a women's story gallery and viewed various rotating exhibitions in the artwork of many immigrant women artists. Since 2003, outstanding immigrant and refugee women such as Evelyn LaPierre, Christina Heimlich and Marcella Vega have been honored at the EWI annual Evelyn LaPierre Awards. EWI and its artists have been featured in many media outlets including the Washington Post, the Alexandria Gazette and the WSA 9 News. In March 2005, Marga Fripp received the Alexandria Office on Women's Cultural Affairs Award. Well, you know, I, th I think Empowered Women International is important not only to Alexandria but really to Northern Virginia and even people living in the district and in Maryland. From my perspective, I think you provide a really unique, uh, really unique service to uh, to women that are coming to the United States from other countries who really don't know about the customs or how to get along in the United States. I think what you do for them individually and from an organization perspective is, is so helpful. I was so excited and thrilled to learn about EWI about a year and a half ago. I think it's such a unique organization and brings so much to the city of Alexandria as well as the surrounding communities. I find it unique because it's working not only with immigrant women, but it's also taking them so that they can become empowered and self-sufficient and uh, develop into our community and become active community members in their own right. EWI continues to make a difference in the lives of many new Americans and in the life of our global community at large. We make a better America every day, and through our efforts, we give newcomers not just a voice, but a right to live with dignity in America. We build a new generation of global Americans.